Mobility is not just an evolution in the auto industry. Organizations that think that are probably missing the opportunities. And a good example of that are financial services. Financial services will be heavily disrupted by the new mobility ecosystem. If we're not driving a car, we're not owning a car, we don't need the finance and the insurance in the traditional way that we've sought them in the past. That's a whole market sector opportunity gone. Now that will be replaced by different levels of insurance, different levels of ownership within that ecosystem as vehicle as a service becomes part of the mobility ecosystem. But financial services companies need to think broader than that. They have to think about the converged market opportunities that exist within that you know, ecosystem. They don't have to sit back and wait to be invited to the party and they certainly shouldn't be thinking about it as being an automotive-led sector change. And they also have to think about the extension of what mobility is. Mobility comes into our home. Mobility is not just about the movement of people, it's about the movement of goods and services. It's about the changing way that we embrace the different parts of our life within that mobility ecosystem. COVID's been a great accelerator for that. We've seen people start to go to what is really intelligent mobility about avoiding the need to move at all and actually working from home. And actually things coming to us from home retailing. And all of that starts to make the home an important place. And there's a whole bunch of financial impacts of home, home ownership that the financial services sector has already tapped into. But it's actually not tapped in in a way that possibly is exploiting that to its full potential. And it's areas like that that are joined to maybe the traditional mobility solutions to what will become a broader mobility ecosystem. That's where the financial services companies need to think. That's where you have to start to imagine the new customer experience models of the future and start to think about how you can create business models to support that. It's important to look forward into that S-curve of change between 2025 and 2030 when the mobility ecosystem will be formed. Think about what 2028 will feel like. Think about the experiences that your customers might want or the new customers that you might want to target. Use your experience and relationship online with your customers to think about the new mobility ecosystem plays that you could make as an organization. The time for action for financial services is now. The way to address it is to think in a very open way, to think about mobility, not just an evolution of automotive, not just an evolution of car ownership, not just an evolution of car insurance or financing. Think about the very essence of what mobility means for the consumer and then find the new experience models that can help solve that for them.